Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name's Amar and I'm an electric skateboarder and content creator based right here in the UK. My goal for this channel is to be a resource for e-skaters through reviews, tutorials and ride videos. So if any of that interests you, smash that subscribe button and join me on this journey. But without any further ado, in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and sharing my first impressions on Nobleman's brand new full face helmet called the TK02. So let's just dive straight into this one. So here we have it, this is the Nobleman Tech Box. I really, really love the detail on this packaging. Nobleman Tech branding all over it. Really, really nice package and form factor all over. Unboxing knife. Okay, let's just get straight into this then. Always really appreciate good packaging. So well done Nobleman Tech there. Put this knife away. Okay, so first off, the helmet actually comes in its own sort of um, sleeve and we get a Nobleman Tech back. Let's get that box out of the way, clean the table for you guys. Okay, so Nobleman Tech bag, um, you've probably seen this before. This comes with the K2 helmet as well. So yeah, really, really nice additional feature here, but that's not why you're called. We're here for this helmet here, so. Okay, so let's get this protective cover off and we have the helmet itself. Would you look at that thing? That looks sweet. First off, let's get all this packaging off once again. As always, really well packaged with Nobleman Tech. I have to say, I've just touched this for the first time and it feels really nice. I think this is the matte black version, but it looks really nice. It feels really, really nice and smooth. I know it's hard to convey to the camera that this, how good this feels, but you're gonna have to take my word for it does feel just really nice and smooth. It feels like a really well refined product. I've just seen a couple of Nobleman Tech stickers fall out here, put them to the side for a second. Um, and yeah, this is the Nobleman Tech TK02 helmet. There's the visor going up and down. Now, one thing which got me really excited about this helmet when Nobleman Tech first released it was the sun visor or the sort of shades which are built into the helmet. So I'm just gonna show you how that works now. So you've got this like lever thing on the bottom left of the helmet and if you sort of pull it in just listen to how satisfying that sounds in fact let's bring it under the microphone quality stuff yeah i'm really really liking that so that's your sun visor sunshade so if you're riding on a really bright day and you don't want to be blinded by the sun then that's what you're going to use if you're riding at night and you need a clear visor you're just going to pull down uh, the main visor up front really really modular that's one thing i really like about this helmet in particular and also nobleman tech's other helmets like the k2 you purchase one helmet and in effect it will serve you well over a whole array of different situations so for instance with this helmet you can of course use it as a full face you can also take off the front visor very very easily uh, if you want if you want to talk to a friend or something or if you just prefer not to have that on if it's a really like hot summer's day and you don't want to be uh, really toasty although i believe this helmet does have some form of ventilation on it as well so you can see that the front but yeah you can take that off very easily if you want to and make it a sort of half face helmet an oversized half face helmet so this helmet really is going to serve you for all sorts of situations which i really really like one helmet to dominate them all so one thing i should draw your attention to is how lightweight this helmet actually is and for those of you that already wear full face helmets you'll know how important having a lightweight helmet is because you can have a helmet with all the protection in the world but essentially if it's too heavy and if it feels really uncomfortable on your ride you're just not going to end up ever wearing it and you're always going to resort to a half lid helmet and not get all that expanded and extended protection so having this helmet weigh in only at 1.25 kilograms is a huge plus and of course if you take off the front chin guard it's going to weigh even less but yeah it's just an incredibly comfortable helmet to wear really really comfortable emphasize on comfortable did i tell you it was comfortable it's really really comfortable helmet to wear i really really enjoy riding with this helmet as you see in the footage i just found it to be really breathable something that I haven't found with my other full face helmets and also the um, line of sight which you get is quite good with other full face helmets that I've had especially in the beginning when I'm getting used to them sometimes you feel unsafe because you can't really see what's going on 
on your board you kind of have to shift your whole face down and like stare at your board to find out what your foot positioning is and stuff and uh, I know eBoarder I've seen him have this problem before when I was riding with him in London so yeah I found with this helmet that it doesn't interfere with your vision massively you can see everything you know if you've got quite a big field of view in front of you and if you need to have a quick glance down on your board to check your foot positioning or whatever very very easy to do now I've actually used my own full face helmet in the past but one area it was really lacking in was in having any sort of eye protection so with this helmet you've got of course your clear visor here and then as well as the clear visor you have your sunshades and why these are really important is when you're traveling very very fast especially if you're riding boards like the Atlas or the Flux in my case those are two of my fastest boards if you're traveling very very fast if you're going like 30 miles an hour sometimes like I'll ride that fast and then I'll hit I'll just feel a ting on my face especially if I'm riding in nature or in wildlife or something or on some you know nature trail or nature path and what that is is a bee will like hit my face if that bee will or fly or something were to just hit me 10 centimeters a bit higher and go into my eye that's going to cause me to crash and have a serious fall and really get injured so that's another reason why it's a really good idea to have visors like this especially when they're integrated onto your helmet this is something which my old full face helmet the 661 did not have so definitely upgrading my full face helmet from that to this needless to say this helmet complies with the various international safety regulations for full face helmets like the dot and ece standards so you can really rest assured that god forbid if you do have a very very bad crash then this helmet is going to protect the most important part of your body which is your brain so yeah, you can really enjoy your ride and push your limits wearing a helmet like this. This helmet also has an anti-collision shell composed of ABS plastic. So really in the event of a crash, it's gonna do well to protect your head. One thing which is often overlooked in helmet reviews is aesthetics. And I have to say, Nobleman Tech have made a helmet here which looks absolutely beautiful. My TK02 helmet is in matte black, but you can also purchase the same helmet in gloss black or in white. The helmet also comes in sizes from medium to 2XL. So no matter your head size, you can get this helmet to fit you very well. Another thing I absolutely love about this helmet is the quick release buckle. For me, this buckle resembles what you would see on a motorcycle helmet, like a go-karting helmet. Some of my really premium helmets for other sports, which I enjoy, have this same sort of feature. And those helmets cost a lot more than what Nobleman Tech are charging here. The benefit of a buckle like this is that once done, it's extremely secure. So in the event of a high impact crash, the helmet is staying fixed to your head, which is exactly what you want. But equally, when you want to take the helmet off, it's very, very easy to just pull on the red tab and undo the buckle. Unlike some other similar full face helmets, you can very easily get into and out of this helmet without having to remove the front chin piece, which just adds to the overall convenience of using this full face helmet. And that will encourage you to use the full face helmet more and be better protected during your rides. The TKO2 is currently on sale for $279, but make sure you check out my discount code in the description to get some cash off your purchase. Yeah, hard still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard. Actually, mad still. <laughs> it looks good, like, with and without, like, it looks good both. Yeah. Man. It looks good with the visor right now still. Yeah. But you know, when you press it and your eyes drop. Yeah, and you drop. Stay safe. I really, really love what Nobleman Tech are doing and the innovation that they're bringing into our scene, not only the e-skate scene, but also the unicycle scene, the one wheel scene. And I personally know of some really, really amazing projects which they're working on, which unfortunately I can't share yet. But what I can say is that once they release these products, a lot of the e-skate scene's eyes are gonna be on Nobleman Tech. So yeah, keep up the great work, Nobleman Tech. If you want to purchase this helmet, I believe I have a 5% discount code, or is 10%, just check the description. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked, smash the like button also subscribe if you're new i would really really appreciate that i will be using this helmet as well as the nobleman tech k2 helmet on my channel so if there's any issues or anything you guys will be the first to know about them because these are going to be essentially my everyday helmets that i'm going to be using but until next time guys stay safe out there and peace